investigate. Ah, we found Julian's treasure! <laughs> no, not the key! These glass marbles! Oh, look at all the different colors. Bet it wasn't easy collecting all these. I remember collecting marbles. It was a phase we had briefly in primary school. I don't know if it was grade 6 or grade 7. It was a brief phase we all went through, but uh, yes, the marble market was strong. What are these marbles used for? What? <laughs> you don't know? Have you never played marbles before? You see, we didn't really play the game so much as we just wanted to collect the pretty ones. Although, occasionally people play marbles to win the marble. By the way, what is this key open? Oh, maybe Julian knows. Maybe he doesn't. What's that look on your face? Oh, I get it. You don't think this jar of glass marbles is worth anything, right? I get that it has sentimental value. Um, it's not what I was thinking. Hmm. Don't even try to pretend otherwise. The look on your face sold you out. My face isn't nearly that transparent, Hook. I'll have you know. Let me tell you something. This jar of marbles means a Talk lot to, to the moles. Talk to your head Hook. You didn't listen to me. Julian used it to help the moles overcome a super huge crisis. What, do you use them as caltrips? promoted to <laughs> second in command. I don't know how marbles could overcome a super huge crisis unless they're used as caltrops. That's the only purpose I can figure they would have. He defeated fragmented monsters with marbles? Of course it wasn't that, but his accomplishments are nothing to be scoffed at. I will scoff when I choose to scoff. In the past, the kids in town were arch rivals to us at the orphanage. These kids used to bully <laughs> us, relying on the pocket money that their uh, parents gave them. They're arch rivals at like age eight. <laughs> Oh, uh, I've never even had an arch rival. How does it feel, Hook? One time, they sent us a formal declaration of war, challenging the moles to a marbles competition. We were all well aware that we didn't stand a chance. We at the orphanage only had some old glass marbles we scavenged from the side of the road, which are no match for those rich kids' marbles. Money doesn't inherently change the marble. And its efficacy in using it as a playing instrument. Unless your cheap make is unbalanced or, you know, uneven. And so it doesn't roll straight. I can't really imagine that the price is going to make too much of a difference. Nonetheless, Julian bravely accepted the challenge. And triumphantly returned with a pile of colorful glass marbles he won. Oh, it was incredible. Good for him. It's no wonder he values his marbles so much, that's it. Yep. So, now you know why he wanted us to find this treasure. I don't think it was worth braving the fragmentum for. Alright, enough chit chat. What's one chit chatting? Next, we need to find my treasure. I wasn't standing here conversing for the sake of conversing, that was you, dear. Time to get to work. Hook's treasure is hidden below the orphanage near the mine's entrance. Do I go left or right? I can't go right. This doesn't feel like the rivet town I remember. Do you think the orphanage is like this now too? Yep. Faux show. Huh. Oh, how kind of you to have turned around and gone the other way. Thanks. Appreciate that. Ow. Oh, sorry. Huh. My apologies. Wrong sound effect. Ah, but I wanted to break Why, the thingy. This place is nothing like it was before I left. You just said that. Boxes and mine carts are all over the street. Oh, what a mess. Oh, did someone move my treasure too? P entirely possible. Who knows? I used to keep it in the mining team's junk pile. Behind the corner, there were heaps of Geomero and boxes. Oh, hopefully it hasn't been taken. I hope you didn't keep it with the Geomero. Is that all the info you have? Got us start looking. You can look for it yourself and let me know when you find it. Uh, why are you so lazy? Oh, I'm so unlucky. <laughs> oh, okay, she is just like off on her own. What is this? What have I achieved here? Enter combat by attacking enemy's weakness and win three times. Woot. Oh, she's just going to run around like a headless chook? Oh, well, good for you, dear. Somewhere here, you say, without passing through the gate. Oh, look, it's in this box. This miniature drill rig was given to me by a guy from Daddy's mining team as a birthday present. <laughs> You're going to sell something somebody got you as a birthday present? 
Wow. I'm going to turn it on. Whoosh! Uh. It's broken. Oh, just, just don't talk to me right now. I need to calm down. Okay. Honorary member? Um, I wonder... How much do you think Julian's glass marbles would sell for? <laughs> After just telling me how epically amazing they are and what sentimental value they have, she wants to turn around and sell them. That's what you came up with after calming down. <laughs> what? Did you think I was serious? I wasn't actually planning on selling these marbles. <laughs> Besides, they aren't even worth much. Why not find someone to fix well, that it? That might work. But it'll be pretty expensive to fix, right? Do I look like I speak mechanical object? How do we ask the guy who gave you the gift for help? Not possible. Daddy said that guy went missing one day and he never saw him again. Jesus. Maybe he went someplace far away. That's stuck. Mm. Night died, bro. I have no idea when he'll come back, so that definitely won't work. What should we do now? Oh, wait a second! I hid another treasure at the orphanage. I don't want to sell it, but if I want to buy Daddy a gift, I don't have any other choice. I said just make him a gift. Natasha will give you the utensils. Honorary member, please, please help me look for it. Just one more time. That's what they all say. Will this really be the last time? I promise this is the last time. Let's go. I'm going to hold you to that hook. Do I just go up the stairs? Yes. Alright. What have we got? In the name of Landau. I don't There's really a need goal. to, but I'm the will. We shall never fall! Do you know who I am? That Ever see a great, diamond sir. this big? Oh, it's all yours! Time to twirl! Seize the moment! Chill out! A thousand wonders to raise your good omens! Fight us one! What are you looking at? Hmm. Huh? That's more damage. Time to twirl. Ha. Ooh, you look fun. Go support Herda. Each She's gonna go well with them. Go Herda. Go Herda. Maybe you can keep it down. Oh yeah, Herda. That critical damage boost you just got. Pretty we caught them slick. unawares. You know what, Tingyan? Let's run around as you. For two seconds until I forget, and then we go back to the trailblazer. Oh, we're at full health, never mind. I was like, heal me, bitch! <laughs> but we're already at full health, so it doesn't even matter. Uh I take back what I just said. Why are there so many monsters here? We need to deal with them first. One day I'd just like to go into the orphanage. Is that too much to ask for? Oh, no, this one. Wait, which one? <laughs> Seize the moment. Annihilated. Um. I will go for her, up, but. All the best. I don't know if she's necessarily the best choice. You must be honored to meet me, huh? Not a scratch. Do you not know a scratch? Honey, you just lost health. How is that not a scratch? Oh, I suppose if it was bludgeoning damage, it wouldn't scratch you. That's fair. Although it was a song, wasn't it? So it's probably psychic damage. Mental damage of some kind. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you can hit this guy. Doesn't that feel good? Feels great. 
See, Wait, having the physical red. damage back on the pie the probably finish. isn't the worst idea. But it would have to take the place of her. Doesn't how I feel about that? Hurt is pretty great when it comes Blake, to the weak people. Let me take people. a look at my notes. I marked the, the location where I stashed the treasure. She's skillful, and I kind of like Tingyun. Is she particularly useful? Probably not. But uh, she makes me feel good. She It's like a placebo making me think that like I'm hitting harder when I'm really not. And making me feel like her energy boosting is really helping my other teammates, but it's really not. But like she makes me feel better about my fi my fighting. So, hmm. Huh, probably gonna have to be harder. Hmm, that hurts. I don't want to look at the chicken. I don't want to look at the chicken. Okay, so what is your mysterious treasure? It's a reward from the old witch. <laughs> You'll know what it is after I dig it up. Why do you call her that? It's a bad name. It doesn't match her and it's pretty disrespectful. Go down the stairs on the left, then walk 10 paces forward. Turn right, walk another 15 paces, spin around 10 times, then keep walking forward. What's the point in spinning around 10 times? What purpose does that serve? I'm doomed. <clears throat> the second half of my notes are completely ruined. This is useless. Without then. the second half of my notes, how will I ever find the treasure? I don't know. Did you bury it? This is the only place you could conceivably have buried it because there's no brick over it. Aww. I have a treasure of my own. I do. Oh, really? Quick, I let me know. see. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Let's use the home use object finder to help Hook search. No. Beep, beep, beep. Finding the home use object finder at your service. Please say the target mm. object you want to search for. Oh, wow. This little thing, it can talk? Wow, you can talk as well, little thing. Huh, aren't you sassy? But, if you can help me find my treasure, I'll let it slide. What's this? Oh, looks like something is written on it. For Julian, 50 years in the future. Whatever, since we've already dug it up, let's open it. It's probably Julian's. Isn't it unsuitable for people to wear, though? What about his poison inside? Really? Oh, the old witch did say that some things will emit a poisonous gas after being buried for a long time. See, she's full of useful knowledge. Uh, okay, forget it. Let's not open it. Okay, Julian's time capsule. Do we get to give it back to him? All right, findy. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I re Hush you. Oh, here it is. My teddy bear. What? The witch gave it to me as a gift. What do you... It has zero value. Yes. He's called Junjun. That's great, but he has zero value. Oh, Junjun. How did you get covered in dirt? And why do you have so many loose threads? If we don't get you cleaned up, no one will buy you. It didn't occur to you to bury him in a box? How much can you get for him? The old witch said that Junjun isn't just any old teddy bear. He'll be worth a lot of money once he's cleaned up. I think she meant emotionally for you. <sighs> There's no other way. I haven't learned to sew yet. I'll have to ask the old witch for help. It's not that difficult. Uh, if she finds out I went somewhere I shouldn't have gone, uh, Hook will get lectured all over again. Just don't say where you got him from. What? So what if the old witch yells at me? Hook still has to prepare the gift for daddy. Mm, don't drag me into this when Natasha gets furious. We found the treasure. Let's split. She doesn't react the to that. The monsters here give Hook goosebumps. Ooh, too scary. I'm warning you. Don't you dare tell the old witch about Hook's plan to sell the treasure. I think she's going to be mightily displeased because she told you that it's going to have good value for you. Oh, I absolutely will tell Natasha on you. The cuddly bear looks super sad. Getting late. Where to now? Hook? 
What are you... <clears throat> Natasha? Um, Junjun's in bad shape. Can you help me fix him? I remember giving you Junjun. <laughs> I haven't seen this fella in years. Where did you find him? The... The wind brought him back to me. Be honest with me, Hook. Um, big sister helped me find him in the Rivet Town Orphanage. You had her take you to the Fragmentum just for this teddy bear? Hook, how many times have I told you? I like how Hook's all like, don't you dare tell Natasha. But she like, outs herself immediately. <laughs> Natasha, please. Please help me fix June June. I'll clean the clinic for you for a whole month. Why didn't you just volunteer to do that in the first place and earn some income by doing that? You say that every time, and that. Oh, great, see you soon. Uh, uh, big sister, I'll leave Jun Jun with you. Are you actually going to help around the clinic? Uh. What am I going to do with that girl? I don't know, but I wish we were further zoomed in. This is really awkward. You shouldn't indulge her, outsider. Uh, uh, I know it's difficult to tell Hook no, but sometimes it just has to be done. You're telling me. I already know that. The game just doesn't let me uh, say that word. <laughs> um, but one thing I do like about Genshin is that we generally are slightly more zoomed in for our conversations. It isn't by much, but it's a little more. I can barely see her face from this distance. <sighs> Jun Jun. So she gave her bear a name, huh? You didn't know that until now? Hook seems really fond of his bear. It seems like a regular teddy bear to me. I've lost count of all the dolls I've made. To be honest, I wasn't expecting her to like this one so much. It was an award I used to give the kids in Rivet Town for good behavior. <sighs> Can you imagine what an orphanage is like with so many difficult children? I, mean, I had to come up with a solution to get them to behave. Hook pretended to be well behaved for a month in order to get Jun Jun. She ate on time, slept on time, even stopped fighting with the other kids. That's because she understood the concept of, you know, reward and punishment. If she acts well for a short period of time, she knows she'll be rewarded for it. She's she's very clued in, very switched on. It must have been difficult pretending. She, maybe she's actually well behaved keep pretending to be naughty. I'm afraid you have no idea how much she suffered that month. <laughs> Hook has an uncanny ability to rally people to her cause, both adults and children. It's a skill, all right. And forcing her to be well behaved puts a lid on it. Well, this teddy bear has sure been through the wars. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help Hook repair June June. But I'll need to find some stuffing. You've got plenty of gauze here. Wait, look at the eyes. Pretty gemstones they look like. They must be... Erebus? Huh. Strange, I didn't notice when I sewed them on. You mean it actually has value? I'm no appraiser, but these two gems look to be high quality. Can we just blind the bear? <laughs> well, our war-torn bear here just became a priceless doll. Not bad, Jun Jun. Well, it's cute. She's praising the doll. The doll did nothing. He just lived his best life in the dirt. <laughs> did the old witch yell at you? No. What? Why'd she only yell at Hawk? Because you're the instigator. I'm just the accessory. Never mind that. You didn't tell her what I was really up to, did you? No, she has excellent intuition. I'm aware of that. I just didn't want to upset her. <laughs> anyway, why are you still standing here, silly? Do you have something to report to the boss of the malls? I don't know. Do I? Jinjin's eyes are precious G gems. Gems? Does that mean he's worth a lot of money? I wouldn't say a lot, just more than he was worth previously. You don't want to sell them all of a sudden? Well, what are you talking about? Of course I do. If the gems are expensive, Hook can buy a better birthday gift for Daddy. Just take his eyes out and sell the eyes and then you can keep Jun Jun. <laughs> I don't want to keep Jun Jun's eyes. If some kid gets a Jun Jun with no eyes, they'll be sad, right? Well, that'll be you. You're not going to be the sad kid with an eyeless teddy bear. Anyhow, this is super useful intel. If you've been with the moles a bit longer, I'd be promoting you to third in command right now. Ha! 
I will mutiny and take your crown. I'll need your help again after Natasha fixes Junjun. Always be prepared to answer the call of Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Oh, there's a, a second part? Uh, how does that work? I don't know how that works. Find all of Julian's items in the Mission Hook's treasure. Well, can I do something with them? No? Okay. Ooh, there's a side quest here. Oh, Julian, of course. Here, have your shit back, kid. Ah, see you again. I'm on a classified mission from Boss Hook. The goal of the mission is to get my hands on all the popping candy in Underworld. <laughs> uh, I've got your stuff here, kid. I heard Hook say that she took you adventuring in Rivet Town just to buy my marbles. Thank you very much, miss, but don't read too much into it. That's not enough for you to be the second in command of the moles. You gotta get past me, and I ain't planning on giving up my position just yet. Okay, just give me my stuff. Is it all of this my stuff? Thank you, miss. These glass marbles I won. Are these also mine? He doesn't remember the marbles, but he remembers that he won them. It's awkward. For Julian, in 50 years' time. Ah, that's the key for the iron gates behind the business street. No one needs it anymore. Thank you so much. You've given me so much stuff, miss. I have to give you something too. Well, how about this copy of The Adventurous Moles? What? Oh, miss, do you know about The Adventurous Moles too? Sorry, haven't read it. Then you have to read it. It's full of interesting adventures. There are all kinds of stories in The Adventurous Moles. But this edition is a bit strange. It's only got the preface in the table of contents. Here, read the preface. Wait, what? Have the pages been torn out, or did it just not print with them? The Mole's Adventure Tips Welcome, kid. Join the adventurous moles and put your knowledge and courage to the test with Becky, Carbine, and Parva as you become the fourth little mole. I almost expected them to be alphabetical with a B and a C, but then the, the P threw me. The book is divided into four parts, each with its own unique story. Oh my god, there is an alarm going outside still, and I wish it would stop. And a riddle will appear at the end of each part for you to solve. The adventure this time is different from the mole's past visits to distant jungles, icy jungles. Dude, it's a frosty planet. You ain't got jungles. <laughs> icy mountains and temple ruins. The backdrop of his story is a place all of our little moles are familiar with. Bellabog. During this adventure, a group of archaeologists have uncovered the will left by Drake, the great adventurer of Bellabog, in which he stated... I've enjoyed almost 50 years of adventures and have been to almost every destination in and out of Bellabog. Along the way, I've collected a plethora of exotic treasures, some of which I donated to the Bellabog Museum, while the most adventurous and enigmatic of which I have hidden. The treasure's location was drawn on a treasure map, which was then divided into many pieces and placed in invisible treasure chests. Only the person who finds all the treasure chests will then be able to find my treasure. This time in the adventurous moles, it's up to you, our fourth little mole, to find all the pieces of the story. If you follow the hints on the list, they will lead you to the correct locations where you'll be able to gather the book pages. The pages conceal clues to the riddles that will lead you to the invisible treasure chests. By collecting all the pages, not only will you complete a copy of the adventurous mole's hidden treasure, but you'll also discover Drake the Great Adventurer's... Okay. But... <laughs> Where's the clue? Am I going to get a clue after reading this? Every clue in the story may hold the key to understanding the riddle, so think carefully and don't miss any clues. Dismiss any clues. Don't be concerned if your acute mind briefly fails you. As long as you follow your intuition, you will find the answer. We have also prepared several helpful resources for the adventure, which are printed at the back at the end of the book for your convenience. Do I have those pages? Are you ready to embark on an exciting adventure at Little Moles? But I don't have any clues. The author said in the preface, if you follow the clues in the table of contents, you can find the corresponding locations where you can collect the pages of the book. It seems to be saying that this edition is meant to have book pages, but they are hidden somewhere, and we have to use the table of contents to find clues about those hidden pages. Okay. We have this one. Page three. The unexpected parchment. Near the entrance of an open-air cafe and backwater pass, the mall saw a flyer promoting an auction. Okay. Okay. Look at the chapter, The Missing Miner's Lamp. It says the great mine of Boulder Town. Is that what some of the missing pages are? 
I haven't found anything, and I'm not even sure whether it's really true. But miss, if you'd like to know more about the adventurous moles, then I can tell you all about that. Nah, I'm good, thanks. Let me go and see. Miss, look, the great mine is mentioned in the table of contents. Maybe there's something there. Yeah, but it wasn't the first one. How do I read them? Is it just going to take me to it? I don't even have to like manually find anything. Julian gives you a damaged book called The Adventurous Moles because I kind of thought I had to manually find the riddles, follow the riddles. You find clues about the rest of the book and its table of contents. Maybe you can find the whole book. Then maybe you can even find the treasure. Wait, this is just a book for kids. Don't take it seriously. I'll take it seriously if I want to. Thank you. Who are you to tell me otherwise? Hold up. Wrong way. I was traveling and I'm like, this doesn't feel right. He was going to attack me when I moved. Chill out. Oh, poor. Maybe you can keep it down. Time to twirl. No. To the finish. Get out of here. <gasps> barrier. I hate Lance barrier. Lance of Blaze. Flaming sucks. Lance. You will know justice. What? I mean, if that's the kind of justice you're talking about, Japard, yeah. Yeah, he'll learn justice. Team. Okay, so it's somewhere here. I think it is. Yeah. The missing miner's lamp. Carbine and Parva were eavesdropping on the group's private chat when they were lifted up by a pair of gigantic hands. And Carbine was overcome with fear as his feet dangled in the air. Pava, on the other hand, shifted his weight, kicked the miner in the stomach, and jumped away. Only then did they notice the gigantic, towering miner. What on earth are you little brats doing here? Pava's kick anchored the tough and muscular miner, who huffed out. It's dangerous out here. You should be at home, not here. Hey, you two kids over there, remember how I told you not to fall out of line? Becky donned her safety helmet, work gear and gloves, and transformed into a little miner. Can you let me handle those two kids, big guy? I'll get them out of here. The two little moles understood Becky's words immediately. We are lost. Please take us back, sis. The belly man was a little hesitant, having never seen such a short miner before. But he didn't think too much about it. Keep an eye on your team. The machines are dangerous. The belly man turned and marched away, carrying a pickaxe heavier than Prava. I'm always a dependable one. What were you two eavesdropping on? Becky inquired confidently. Pushing up her safety helmet, Papa was about to join, point to the group's location when he realized no one was there anymore. I recall them saying, let everything return to its rightful place, let the stars return to the sky. So that's what it is, Carbine said after a brief moment of thinking, what is with this punctuation? Uh, oh my god, now there's a car horn going outside? Can y'all just shut up outside? <laughs> Uh, da, 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 and a glance at the wire mesh fence on the other side. Carbine appears to have discovered the street secret. Dear readers, do you know what he should do? If you pay close attention to the surrounding miners' lamps, you'll be able to figure out the answer on your... Mm-hmm. Hmm. What? What did I just read? Something about street lamps? Let's be friends, shall we? Do you know who I am? Ever see a diamond this big? I mean, they don't have a high sweet or whatever. Damage is damage, right, Herder? Time to twirl! Oh, so close. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna hurt. Huh. We make a pretty good team. Okay, there are more riddles in the chapters of the Adventurous Moles. 
The miner's lamp. Let everything return to its original position. Let the stars return to the sky. Use the function button to check the treasure map details. What exactly does I don't know. Okay, where am I putting it though? Here? The base of a lamp quietly moved aside to suddenly reveal the precious treasure before your eyes, as if it was suddenly gazing at your actions. Bountiful treasure. Well now. Is that it? Discuss the results of the investigation with Julian. Well, that was easy. I thought it'd be like a multi-step riddle, but it's not. It, it wasn't. It was just do one thing and bring you down. Places to be? 